How's it going everyone? Got quite a bit to talk about in this video. We've got a big free update for a game that is incredibly well received. Uh, we'll talk about that. That will be dropping in just a week. We have a RPG headed on over to PlayStation 5. A little bit of a lower key one. Spire of the Dragon, a lot of people rumbling, a lot of people talking about a potential title dropping or being announced in 2024. We'll talk that in Hogwarts Legacy. Man, I talked about it in previous videos. I was completely unaware of how big Harry Potter was as an IP and how much people wanted a Harry Potter open world RPG because this game has sold a staggering amount of units. We'll talk that at the end of this video. Now before we get into this video, I just want to ask you guys, please like this video and do leave a comment with your thoughts. It really does help out the channel a lot and it is much appreciated. But, first off, we have details of Cult of the Lamb, Sins of the Flesh, the free update launches on January the 16th. Sins of the Flesh, the next free update for cute cult sim, Cult of the Lamb will offer loyal followers a slew of worldly pleasures on January 16th in its biggest and most wicked content update yet. The cult's tendrils extend even further with a blasphemous beneficence of quests, features, improvements, and a deliciously evil new resource that rewards those leaders prepared to yield to the sins of the flesh. Sins and Disciples' new progression systems add more depth and complexity to managing the cult of the Lamb by following the sinful path. Your followers will delight in gluttonous rituals, vain buildings, and wrathful doctrines. Invite your most loyal followers to the inner circle of Disciples, a revamped leveling system of follower progression, better cult life, shiny poop, baneful brooms, and bigger, better buildings improve a busy cult life. Shiny poops have special effects like yielding fruitful crops and adding XP to your broom. Leveling up your broom will make chores faster and more effective to improve automation there's also a new tier for the janitor station and the storage structures so your followers will take better care of themselves. Ready, aim, fire, blast heretics away with the new blunderbuss weapon. When loaded, it fires big damage in close quarters to bring a new combat playstyle for your crusades. If you charge it up even more with a heavy attack, you can aim to snipe enemies from long range. Outfits, options, and offspring. Each of your cultists can flaunt their follower fashion at the new tailor building. Once unlocked, each cultist can wear their own outfit with 23 different styles to choose from, but your cult is getting even more unique when two followers love each other very much they might find an egg nurture the egg for it to hatch then care for the offspring until they're ready to pledge allegiance to your cult so that is the rundown of all of the new information since it has dropped they also did announce cult of the lamb sales have cracked three and a half million units so that's fairly good for a i would say lower key release but at this point it is a pretty well-known game and uh yeah one that's been fairly well received across the board and it dropped back in august uh, of 2022 with its initial release good to see it still continue to get upgrades next up we have swan Wan sword the gate of firmament coming to playstation 5 in 2024 this is an rpg franchise that's been getting a little bit of traction here stateside initially dropped back in 2016 we have the game coming to ps5 it did drop on ps4 in asia and china and xbox one and pc uh worldwide kind of interesting i never saw a ps4 release over here but nonetheless we got the playstation 5 version in the works long ago the jade emperor opened the gates of heaven so that worthy mortals could appeal to him and be granted divine powers in order to aid in the search for the emperor's lost daughter however the holy gift was exploited and abused bringing chaos to the modern realm the gates of heaven had to be released to protect from greater disaster but since then no mortals have been able to ascend and no gods could ascend at will to help them now it's up to a small band of heroes in the mortal realm each with their own motivation and led by the a young you uh, to try and bridge the realms before peace is shattered forever. The Gate of Firmament is a beloved entry in the long-running RPG series based on a mix of Chinese history and mythology. This standalone tale innovates with 3D presentation and real-time combat while retaining and evolving elements for which the series has long been revered. The Urn of Spirit Infusion allows demon synthesis and equipment refinement. The Guardian System allows captured demons to fight by your side, and the Miracle System enhances your party's attack and new battle formations further enrich strategic options in battle. This enhanced version of the game features improved loading time, higher resolution graphics, and all prior downloadable content, making it the definitive way to experience this class action RPG. The game will be dropping sometime in 2024. We don't have an official date yet. Moving on from that, a little bit of teasing going on over at the Spyro the Dragon Twitter page. 2024 motto, you gotta believe with an image of a Spyro the Dragon. The tweet is quite making the rounds, and a lot of people are hoping this is a sign pointing towards a brand new Spyro title. 
I would imagine that at some point Activision's gotta be looking at the sales numbers for the Reignited Trilogy cracking 10 million copies last we heard. Um, and, you know, considering doing a new Spyro game, they did Crash Bandicoot 4, they did do Crash Team Rumble, and I'm not crazy about Crash Team Rumble, I wish they just continued to do, you know, I wish they continued doing Crash games that people would really like. Um, in term, I mean, maybe some people like Crash Team Rumble, but uh, Crash Bandicoot in its nostalgic style, and I feel like if you do a new Spyro game in its nostalgic style, uh, it would do fairly well. Now, obviously, the elephant in the room as far as Spire the Dragon going forward is that Activision is now owned by Microsoft, but we did talk about Microsoft potentially changing their business plan and, uh, you know, making their games available on all platforms, and even if it's a day one release on, let's say, Xbox PC, eventually you would have to think a potential Spyro game, a 2024 release, would come to Nintendo Switch 2 as well as PlayStation. It just seems like that is the direction they want to go. Maybe I'm pushing the cart before the horse a little bit too much, but it was a $69 billion acquisition. You gotta make money off these games, and obviously a big element of that $69 billion acquisition is to sell you their platform, to sell you Game Pass, Xboxes, but at some point you could also make extra of a return on investment by releasing the games on other platforms. You would just think that would be the case, especially as Spyro is kind of rooted into the history of PlayStation, at least to me. I mean, when I got my PlayStation 1, Spyro was one of the first games I got with it. It was Spyro and Mega Man X4, so obviously a little bit nostalgic as far as that's concerned, but Spyro will do well regardless. It's just one of those games and IPs that it would be great to see it on all platforms, and uh, an IP that has a lot of nostalgia attached to it, so whether it be attracting like a new audience and a younger crowd, yeah, it could do that, but also a lot of people my age in their mid-20s to early 30s or even beyond that uh, are pretty nostalgic towards Spyro the Dragon and I think a brand new title would do fairly well, given that the Reignited Trilogy also uh, sold really well. Speaking of selling well, and to round out this video, man, I knew Hogwarts Legacy was gonna do really well from a sales standpoint and it became abundantly apparent to me that it was gonna do well uh, ahead of the release of the game when I saw like the social media metrics the game was pulling in, and it dawned on me, okay, people must like this Harry Potter cat, don't they? Uh, I didn't watch much of the Harry Potter movies growing up. Like, I watched a few of them on television, but my memory of them is so far gone, and I know they're doing, like, a new Harry Potter series on HBO, I believe, but, uh, you know, Harry Potter isn't something I have any sort of attachment to, but the game of Hogwarts Legacy I thought was really good and was not one of my contenders for Game of the Year, but one of those games in, like, that, that second tier of games I really enjoyed in 2020. 23 and I thought it was great, and uh, seems like a lot of other people did too, as the game has top sales of 22 million units. That is an absolutely staggering number. Now, keep in mind that the game did drop on pretty much every platform, PS5, Xbox Series, PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and somehow they got the game on the Nintendo Switch. I haven't looked into how the Switch performance is, but that's wild to me. Like, I played some of Hogwarts Legacy on the Steam Deck, and that game defaulted to low settings, and it was a solid 30 FPS, but you're talking about defaulting to low settings at 800p. I don't know how it runs on the Switch, but... Those, uh, those magicians got it running there. I mean, it is on PS4 and X1, and it runs fairly well on there, but, um, yeah, I still found that a little bit surprising. 15 million copies of Hogwarts Legacy were sold ahead of the game's PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Switch launch, so an additional 7 million units happened after the launch of the game on various platforms, but some of those sales obviously continue to be on PS5 and Xbox Series. Approximately 2 million copies were sold during the 2023 December holiday season as well, so... You know, the game is going to perpetually sell copies. I imagine that they'll eventually do, like, an upgraded release on Nintendo Switch 2, reignite interest there. The game will continue to go on sale. And you best believe that they are going to be doing a sequel to the game as well. Like, when you're printing this kind of money, and I get it, with licensed games, it is a balancing act of you got to sell a lot of copies, and there's a licensing fee to pay and everything like that. But uh, when you're topping 22 million copies sold, that is an absolutely staggering number. And uh, I would imagine a Hogwarts Legacy 2 will be happening. It probably won't be happening for a while, given that this game came out in February of 2023. They do have the infrastructure and the foundation of what they can build on in place, but, um, yeah, open world RPGs they, these days take quite a while of a turnaround. You're talking four to five years at minimum, maybe even a little bit longer than that. 
Um, but we'll see. Maybe they'll surprise us. But at this point, I would expect like a Hogwarts Legacy 2. Maybe 2027, 2028. That's really around the realm uh, I would be expecting that for. But that is going to do it for me again. Cult of the Lamb, Sins of the Flesh. The update will be launching on January 16th. A free update adding a lot of new content. A new RPG coming to PS5. Zwan One Sword at the Gate of Firmament. That'll be dropping in 2024. Spire the Dragon, rumblings and teases of a potential 2024 game announcement. And Hogwarts Legacy has cracked 22 million copies sold. That is an absolutely staggering number. And uh, I knew the game was going to do well by the time of release. But that number does uh, definitely surprise me a little bit. But that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.